Welcome to Bachelor of IT Computer Systems IT 1205 revision session. So today we are going to revise data representation and arithmetic. Today's rundown we have fractions in binary, floating point representation of fractions and round off error. So let's start with the first one fraction in binary. In general, the position values in a binary numbers are really important as well as they are the power of 2's. As you can see, the first position value is 2 to the power 0 which means 1's, the decimal value is 1's and the second bit position is 2 to the power 1, the decimal value is 2. In the decimal numbering system, we have a radix point and after that we have the fraction part. Likewise, in the binary also, we can consider that there is a radix point. So, after the radix point, the first position after the radix point is the value is 2 to the power minus 1, which is halves. So, second position value is 2 to the power minus 2, which is 1 fourth. So, likewise. So, as you can see here, you can imagine that this is the point like you are having a radix point. So, this is the first position 2 to the power 0 means decimal value is 1, 2 to the power 1, decimal value is 2, 2 to the power 2, decimal value is 4, 2 to the power 3, decimal value is 8. So, when it's come after the radix point, when it's come to fractions, 2 to the power minus 1 means halves we consider it as 0 0.5 and this is 1 fourth which is 0 0.25 this is 1 eighth and 1 sixteenth so 1 eight means 0 0.125 and 1 sixteenth is 0 0.0625 so it is really important if you can memorize these fraction values because when you are going to convert numbers with fractions you have to remember these values it would be better if you remind all at least up to four positions so let's take the example one one zero one 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 zero one so you can see there is a one for the this position which means decimal value is eight there is a zero for this position which means you do not need to add four there is 1 for 2, so we take it here. There is 1 for 1, so we take it here. And you can see after the radix point, there is another 1, so which means 0 0.5, so we take it here. And 0 0.25, uh, there is another 1, so we take it here. There is 0 for 0 0.125, which means we do not want to consider this 1. But we have to take this 0 0.0625 here. So, when you add these numbers, you will end up with 11.8125. So, let us take the second example. So, you can see 01110110. Again, you can do the same calculation. This one is for 4, this one is for 2, this one is for 1, and you do not want to have 0 0.5 because you have 0 here and this is 1 so we can take 0 0.25 here this is 1 so we can take 0 0.125 here so adding these numbers we will end up with 7.325 likewise you can convert fractions into binary as well as binary into fractions but this part is really important this is the scientific notation for binary. Normally, if we consider these numbers, our radix point is here. Radix point is here. And for this number, radix point is here. Likewise, we can see there are three numbers. Three numbers. So, radix point is here. For this number, radix point is here. So, though we cannot see, uh, it should be here. And here the radix points you can see it is here. So, in the scientific notation, as you know, in the decimal notation also we have a scientific notation, which means you should have a number from 1 to 10 and you have to multiply that number by the power of 10th. 
power of 10th the base should be 10 so likewise in binary we have a scientific notation in that case we have to have one one here and then we have to have the radix point which means this radix point we have to shift it to left how many times one two three and four when you shift this radix point to left in four positions we will end up with this value this value but the thing is this is not the actual value that we want actual value has the radix point here which means in this number if we shift this radix point four times right we can get the actual value therefore what we do is in the scientific notation we need one and the radix point here then we multiply this number by 2 to the power 4 so where this 4 comes from it is from here because we have to shift 4 times to the right the radix point which means 4 times is 4 we have to shift it into the right so we put this as a positive value as a positive value let's consider another example so this example we have radix point here but in scientific notation we should have one and the radix point so we should take the radix point here so we did it minus one and the radix point and then you can see this is not the actual value i didn't put four zeros here but it should be there and uh, it is no harm will be done by that uh, losing these four bits because all are zeros what we have to do is if we have the radix point here when we want to get the actual number we have to move it 10 times right 10 times right therefore we multiply this by 2 to the power positive 10 let's take this example we can see this binary number and again in the scientific notation we want one and the radix point which means we have to take these radix points up to here but this is not the actual value we want this is the actual value in this case you can see clearly we have to move the radix point not to right but to left but to left how many times we have to move seven times to take the radix point here since we have to left the radix points to the left we put the power as minus 7 minus 7 so this is the scientific notation really important when we are doing the other examples so you can see here a scientific notation included a binary we call it the normalized form normalized form here this fraction part this fraction part we call it mantissa mantissa and the power we call it exponent exponent it is really important you know what is mantissa is and what is the exponent is and this is the second example so you can see the mantissa is 0 1 1 0 1 1 and the exponent is 10 so the 1 is came by default so you do not want to bother about this 1 because we know if we normalize any binary number one and the radix point will be there when you convert it back let's consider the floating point representation here we have taken one byte which means we have eight bits so in this one byte you can clearly see we have divided this one byte into three separate sections first bit is allocated for the sign and the next three bits allocated for the exponent and the other four bits allocated for the mantissa so let's take an example and see how we can represent floating points in binary representation okay this is the number that i took so 101.11 so if we normalize this binary simply we can see this is one and the radix point it is the scientific notation requirement and then we can see we have shifted radix points to the left two times to get the actual value so we have to reverse it 
by multiplying this number with 2 to the power 2 which means radix point will shift it two times here. Now you can see mantis i 0 1 1 1 exponent is 2. We have another important theory it named as excess k. So when we are representing exponent in the floating point representation we have to use excess k notation. So what is this excess k? You can see we have exponent 2 here but we cannot simply put the binary pattern of 2 to here. We have to represent this exponent with excess k representation. So let us see how we calculate this excess k. How to find this k? There is a simple equation k equals 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. Here the n is number of bits allocated for the exponent. As you can see in our example we have allocated 3 bits. So we can do the math 2 to the power n equals 3 here for this instance 3 minus 1 minus 1 which means 2 to the power 2 minus 1 equals 3. Then what you have to do is now you know how to calculate the k which is excess k. So then you have to add this k to the exponent and the exponent in excess k notation and you have to write it with the binary pattern. As you can see we have 3 bits excess k should be 3 with the equation 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So this is a decimal value. So, if you are going to represent this decimal value with 3 bits, you have to come up with this bit pattern 101. 0, 1. Now, you can see our floating point representation. Since this is a positive number, sign is 0. You can see the bit pattern of the exponent with excess k 101. So, it is here and the mantis are 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, it is clear then take another example. Okay, This is a decimal number. You have to represent this in floating point notation. Okay, Now, you can see if we take the minus 3. So, this is the part you can take the 3 minus is here 3 you can take 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 fourth you can clearly see after the radix point first bit value is 0 and the second bit value is 1 because 1 fourth represented by second bit after the radix point. Here then you can normalize it with a minus 1.101 into 2 to the power 1 because only one radix point should be shifted here only one time to the right. Uh, then you can see the mantis i is 1 0 1 exponent is 1 and uh, again we have to uh, represent this exponent with excess k since we are going to represent this in 8 bits or 1 byte we have 3 position for exponent which means the k is 3 again 3 plus 1 is 4 the bit pattern is 1 0 0. Here you can see the sign is minus which means sign should be 1 exponent bit pattern is 1 0 0 and mantis i is 1 0 1 since we have 4 bits 4 bits we can simply add 0 to the end it does not harm to the representation. So uh, with this knowledge so we are moving to some questions. Uh, from your past papers. It is really important because you will be getting uh, 2 to 3, 2 to 3 questions uh, using this floating uh, point representation. Let us move to the questions. This is 2014 question number 8. Which of the following is correct 16 bit floating point representation with a sign bit, 5 bit exponent and 10 bit mantis of the decibel number positive 47.625. So, this is the answer. You can see the positive is the number then sign bit should be 0. Simply you can eliminate the A option because its sign bit is 1 which means this is a negative number. So, it should be the answer. You can simply cross over the op option A. Then you can uh, convert this decimal into binary. Uh, when you make 47, 32, 8, 4, 2, 1 
then when you take 0 0.625 you have to add 0 0.5 and 0 0.125 so here you can see the binary number then you normalize it normalize it but to get the actual value you have to multiply it by 2 to the power 5 which means which means you have this mantis are here but again you have to uh, represent this 5 with excess k again you can see how to calculate the excess k in this case you can see clearly question says 5 bit for the exponent so we can uh, solve the equation 2 to the power 5 minus 1 minus 1 uh, which gives you 15 15 plus 5 is 20 again you can come up with the bit pattern to represent the 20 with 5 bits with 5 bits because we have 5 bits uh, exponent so this is our representation sine bit is 0 uh, exponent is 10100 zero, 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 and this is our mantisa and I have added two zeros to the uh, very end because it does not harm and also we should have 10 bit mantisa and you can see this answer is you can be found in the option D option D so the answer is D okay uh, let's consider the reverse process which means when you are given the binary value or the binary representation floating point representation how you are going to convert it back to the decimals so this is quite uh, interesting let's see uh, this is the 2015 question number 8 again you can see the positive value should be there because the sign bit is 0 but it does not help because all the options are positive values let us consider the mantisa so you can think ok this is the mantisa now so if we normalize this number it should be 1 and the radix point 1 point and this is the mantisa uh, which is taken from here here then we have to find out 2 to the power what 2 to the power what so this is the question actually so what we can do is we can take the exponent here so when we take the decimal value 16 4 and 1 which gives you 21 21 as you can see when we represent the exponent in binary we add the excess k to the actual value which means this 21 includes excess k this 21 includes excess k so we have to have this actual power so we have to subtract that k from this decimal value so again you can see the equation we have 5 bits for the exponent and we will end up with excess k is 15 then you can see 21 minus 15 this is important this 21 came including with excess k so we have to subtract this 15 then we get 6 we get 6 then we know what is the actual power here it is 6 now you can see the number uh, 1 point this mantisa into 2 to the power 6 which means if we want to get the actual binary we have to move this radix point 6 places to the right so I have done this for you and you can see this is the actual binary so let us take the actual decimal value this is 1 this is 4 this is 16 and this is 64 I added all them here and this is 1 fourth or 0 0.25 this is uh, 1 16th which means 0 0.0625 when we add all together we will end up with 85.3125 uh, since this is the sign bit is 0 the value is positive so you can find this answer in the option D option D so uh, when you are going through the examination questions you will see lot of IEEE standards are playing the role because IEEE has introduced a common platform to represent these floating points 
uh, in your syllabus you have to deal with uh, binary 16, binary 32 and uh, binary 64 uh, IEEE standards. Uh, normally you will get binary 16 and binary 32. So uh, here it is uh, quite uh, good if you can uh, memorize this exponent bias or the excess k of this particular two incidents binary 16 and binary 32. So you can see in binary 16 you will get 5 uh, bits for exponent this is the IEEE standard. In um, binary 32 you will get 8 exponent um, 8 bit uh, for the exponent. In binary 16 exponent bias is 15 or in other words the excess k is 15 and binary 32 uh, the excess k is 127. 127. Uh, so at the same time you can see uh, the e min and e max so we uh, this uh, shows you so how many range you can cover using this technique. So, uh, let us consider some questions here. In IEEE standard 32 bit floating point representation of the binary number plus 42.625 uh, is this is the 2015 uh, paper question 11 and uh, you can see the sign uh, bit is positive which means 0. So, you can simply eliminate the option B and positive 42.625. Again, uh, you can do the simple math 42 you can take by 32 plus 8 plus 2 and uh, 0.625 you can get by uh, adding 0 0.5 uh, plus 0 0.125. And uh, you can see this is the binary uh, representation and this is the normalized representation. It is 2 to the power 5. You can see the mantis are here, mantis are here. So, in the IEEE 32 bit uh, floating point representation, uh, excess k is uh, or the exponent bias is 127. 127. So, um, again you can use the equation um, uh, that I mentioned earlier and uh, simply uh, you can take this number as well but uh, it will be uh, good if you uh, really remember this number because uh, it will save your time uh, in the question paper. So, uh, 5 plus uh, 127 is 132. So, uh, to represent 132 uh, you have here in the 32 bits you can uh, see uh, there are about uh, 8 bits you can use to represent this number. So, here uh, when you are representing 132 you can simply come up with the bit pattern 1 and 4 zeros and 1 0 0. So, uh, so uh, then you can see uh, this should be the exponent representation and sign bit should be 0 and the mantis R should be this. So, uh, let us find out uh, the answer. Uh, you can see uh, there are ok, uh, we can eliminate D, it is not the exponent representation and here we can see ok, it is here 1 0 0 0 0 and then 1 0 0 and here 1 0 0 0 0 and again 0 1 0, no it is not the answer we have only four uh, zeros here. So, uh, we can take this uh, option option C as the correct answer. So, um, you can see the positiveness is represented here and the uh, our 8 bit exponent representation and then our mantis are 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 since we need 32 bits, we can allocate zeros uh, to the end. So, uh, you can see the uh, calculation and this is the answer. Okay, this is uh, 2015 question number 11. Uh, now, uh, the reverse uh, 
way that uh, we are given the uh, binary pattern and they are asking the actual value as you can see the sign bit is 1 which means the uh, answer should be negative but it doesn't help because all the numbers are negative uh, let's see this okay sign bit is negative you can see the mantis are there and uh, actually question is what is the power here what is the power here again then uh, you can calculate the exponent exponent here and it uh, gives you 135 with excess k then you have to subtract that 127 uh, which is excess k uh, from here which uh, will give you 8 which will give you 8 so actually the power should be 8 power should be here 8 you can see this is the question mark now we uh, come up with the power 2 to the power 8 now we get the actual binary here and uh, this is our actual binary we shifted the radix point 8 time to the right so now let's uh, take the answer uh, so this is 2 this is 8 this is 32 128 and 256 and the first uh, after the radix point first position gives us 0 0.5 so uh, you can get the answer minus 426 uh, 0.5 so uh, unfortunately the answer is missing uh, in this particular question and uh, in that year marks for all was given uh, so uh, let's quickly go through the round of error uh, it is really simple as you can see when you represent plus 2 uh, uh, 5 uh, 5 by 16 uh, if you want to represent this number we can come up with this binary we normalize the factor and uh, we can come up with the exponent which is 4 the uh, bit pattern we can come up with 100 0. but the thing is uh, when we represent this mantisa you can see we have 5 digits or the 5 binary points but here mantisa only have 4 bits four bits here so what happened to this last one last one so we simply ignore this one which means when we convert back so we will end up with this number not with this number here we can simply say we have neglect this one which means it was represented by this one so we have neglect this one uh, 1 by 16th in this uh, binary representation this is the fourth bit after the radix, po radix point which means 1 by 16th so we simply ignore that value which means we will end up with round off error of uh, 1 16th uh, there is a question uh, this is the 2015 question number 9 so uh, they are asking if we represent this by 16 bit floating point representation what will be the uh, round of error so um, this is the answer so you can see uh, we have simply uh, do the math and come up with the number and uh, only we have 11 bits here 11 ones here which means which means uh, we cannot have all the 11 numbers there because we have only 10 bit mantisa so we neglect the last one 11th uh, one is neglected which means we neglect this one so which means we neglect this 0 0.125 0 0.125 ok now you can see we uh, neglect this one which means we neglect 0 0.125 so normal procedure is you have to convert back and see what is the difference but still by this way you can simply see what uh, we are neglecting and come up with the round of error easily so um, it will be the end of uh, round of uh, error uh, hope you understand the uh, revision and the lesson. Uh, wish you uh, all uh, the very best for your question papers. Thank you.